Hi everybody, Heather Lambert here. Thank God it's Monday today because all week long we get to share our sense of spirit with the world. So today I've been having a little bit of, I don't want to say epiphany, but I've been doing a lot of thinking. And this may come across a little bit as tough love, but that's okay because some of you need it. Um, so I want you to think about what your, what your goals are for your business. Where do you want to see yourself each month? What are your sales goals? What PRV levels are you striving to hit each month? And if you are there right now, congratulations, that is awesome. And even if it's 150, like if it's just to get active each month, if that's your goal for your business, then that is perfect. And I would never want to push anybody above where they want to be with their business. I want you to meet your goals. So if your goal is 150 and you are hitting it, awesome. Um, but if you have a team and you'd really like to get paid on them, some of those leadership bonuses can be really nice. Then you've got to hit 500. So maybe 500 is your goal and you're struggling to get there. Or maybe you'd really like to be a director in your business and or a superstar director one day. Or maybe you'd really like to quit your job and that means you need to hit an income level of a certain amount, which means you need to grow a lot faster than you are. Um, maybe you'd like to earn incentive trips. That means hitting higher PRV levels so you can earn points. So if your sales and your PRVs each month are not quite where you would like them to be, um, then I want you to really think about how you're working your business. First of all, have you set that goal? And some of you say, yeah, I've set the goal. I have a goal. I want to hit it. Have you written it down? Does it stare you in the face? And have you told somebody what that goal is? Because there is huge power in that. And I have to admit right off the bat, I am one of those people, yeah, I set goals all the time. I have dreams. I have, but I don't always write them down. I don't always tell people because if I tell them and I don't hit it, I'm going to feel like a failure. I'm going to feel like, you know, like I didn't do it. I didn't do what I said I was going to do. And um, I don't want to be that person. So sometimes I don't tell people my goals or write them down. And Jen Audette posted to our directors a couple of days ago, what are your PRV goals for the month of July? And nobody posted for days. And she says, okay, I can tell that nine of you have seen this and nobody's writing it down. Let's go. She called us out. And so I put it down. I said, all right, I have been getting my 500 the last couple of months, recovering from moving, whatever, getting my feet wet. And, you know, it's time. It's time to hit 1,000 again. So I said, okay, I'm going to hit a thousand this month. I have no idea where that thousand was going to come from. I had had my one big event for the month already, and it was a bust at 250. I was expecting way more. Um, and then I had one other basket party um, in Maine, long distance, that I was hoping for but not expecting much at all. So I wasn't even sure where I was going to get my 500, never mind a thousand. I thought, all right, this is nuts, but I'm going to type it anyway. I wrote it down. I am now at almost 1,500, and orders are still coming in. There are still 10 days to go. I'm like, gosh, I maybe I could hit two. This is kind of cool, you know. So you have to know that there is power in telling people your dreams, in telling people your goals. So what I want you guys to do today, today, like right now, is think about where you want your sales to be at the end of July. We have 10 days. That is a lifetime in Sensi World. Ten whole days. Where do you want your sales to be? How much more do you need in the next ten days to get there? And I want you to write it down. Tell us. I'm going to post this in our Proud to Party Facebook group and I want you to comment underneath and tell us how much more PRV are you going to get in the next ten days. Now, here's where the tough love comes in. Are you going to get to that goal by posting on Facebook on your timeline, hey, there's a big Sensi sale, order from me, let me know what you want? No, you are not going to grow your business by posting on Facebook. Will you get an occasional order? Sure. Will you get an occasional interest, occasional new person? Maybe. But you cannot grow a successful business and reach all of your goals if that is all that you are doing. You have got to talk to people. You have got to call people. You've got to private message and email them and make it personal. It cannot just be an advertisement or a commercial on Facebook. You are not going to grow your business that way, I promise. 
So, don't just go post about the new Christmas in July on your timeline and sit back and wait for the orders to roll in. You might get some, you might get a couple, that'd be great, but you're not gonna. This Great the Dale sale was amazing. It was huge for my, my numbers, but I did not just post it on Facebook and then sit back and wait. I private messaged each person that has ever purchased Grace the Dale from me. I talked to each and every one of them. And that's what it takes. So you, you can't just sit back and say, oh, Christmas in July, and oh, Grace Dell. By the way, if you're a Grace Dell consultant, and the new fall stuff is coming out this week, that is going to be huge. If you have people interested in Grace Dell and they haven't ordered yet, they're going to want to take a look at this stuff because it is classy, nice, cool. It's in a whole nother ball game, so they're definitely going to want to look. If they haven't found something yet, they will in this collection. So make sure they know about it, but call them personally. Don't just post and hope they see it. Um, so post your goal for the rest of the month underneath in our Facebook group. Tell us how much more PRV you are going for, and then go for it. You are capable of so much more than you think you are. You just need to tell somebody, hold yourself accountable, and then work for it. Don't just post and sit back and say, well, it didn't work. Of course it didn't work. You didn't do anything. So get out and do something about it. Share the love. Share your excitement. Share the passion. Let people sniff. Get the sense under their nose. That's what it's all about. Put the velada in their mouth. Get the sense under their nose. That's all it takes. And you will find some new people. Yesterday we went down to the pool with Scentsy sunscreen on, smelling like Havana Cabana all over the place. And we got in the pool and those people were like, what is that smell? We got to have it. So you got to get the smell out there. Let people sniff. You got to let them taste the velada. Um, and they will want to know what is going on. And then if you are excited, they will be excited. And you never know what that could turn into. Your itty bitty goal might, you might blow it out of the water. You might just surprise yourself. So I'm shooting for 2,000 this month. I've only got about 500 left with 10 days. I can do it. I can do it. And I'm going to work until I, until I do. And if I don't quite hit it, you know what? I didn't think I was going to get five. So if I get, 1700 I'm like already 1200 ahead. I'm okay with that. So go for it and have a super great week.